good news on Moderna. As of, uh, well, as of this moment, uh, I can report to you, we'll update you on an hourly basis, or at least in, over the course of the next few hours, we'll update you at the end of the day. But as I speak, 21 of the 31 sites that we identified for Moderna to have vaccines delivered. And remember, we're working with McKesson to do the delivery. They are the intermediary working for Moderna uh, in terms of the distribution of these doses of vaccines. Uh, that first uh, phase has arrived in California, 110,000 doses of the 372,600, uh, or 672,000, forgive me, 672,000 have already arrived. 110,000 of the 672,000 have arrived, 21 out of 31 sites as I speak. The reason why is not only did they get emergency authorization uh, from FDA, we also had our Western State Scientific Safety Review Work Group, a complement of 17 members, six from Nevada, Washington State, Oregon, 11 from the state of California. Again, similar to what they did with the Pfizer vaccine, they unanimously approved the safety and the efficacy of the Moderna vaccine. They did so over the weekend, formally announced it Sunday morning, uh, put a letter uh, that we received late Saturday night. So the Moderna vaccine has arrived uh, and that is indeed good news. 672,600 to be exact is what we anticipate receiving this week, the 110,000 we already have. As we've said many, many times, this is storage uh, for this vaccine is much easier than the ultra cold storage of Pfizer. This is just uh, cold storage, which is the equivalent of freezer storage for the Moderna vaccine. It's a 22 dose regimen, uh, like the Pfizer vaccine is a two dose regimen, 21 days Pfizer, 28 on the Moderna. Uh, and we of course are encouraged by the Moderna vaccine in relationship to the storage needs in terms of our distribution, in terms of our logistics, we're now able to get these shipments into rural parts of the state, into parts of the state that are more remote, uh, and that is indeed encouraging. There's also some other advantages in terms of the doses in each vial and the total number that you have to order, 975 versus 100 uh, Pfizer orders versus Moderna orders. If I've lost you, happy to uh, and clarify any of that in the Q&A, but nonetheless, just some advantages, not on safety and efficacy per se, but real advantages on logistics for the moment with the Moderna vaccine, which is indeed uh, very, very encouraging. Pfizer, here's just the update, 560,625 doses have arrived in the state of California. We got that first um, dose uh, of the doses all in. 327,600, all of that arrived last week in the state. And that 560 anticipates, for clarification purposes, the 233,025, the 233,000 that we anticipate arriving this week. They're already starting to arrive, which is good. Uh, and we'll update you uh, as to the status of all of that remaining 233,000. As you know, it's 40% below what was originally um, uh, anticipated, um, and I appreciate the clarification coming from the federal government, the Department of Defense, uh, in terms of their logistics uh, mistake and, and owning up to that. Um, again, no reason uh, to have a closed fist in this moment. All of us need to be humble at this moment. Everyone's doing their best, and I still maintain this is an extraordinary, extraordinary accomplishment for this country, for our nation, for the world, that these vaccines are even going into people's arms, that they have arrived. And I wanna compliment everybody who was part of Operation Warp Speed. They deserve credit. The administration deserves credit. The president and the vice president deserve credit for working hard over the course of the last number of months to get these vaccines out and to get them in these states. Uh, we are so often too quick to be judgmental. Uh, and while we were disappointed in not receiving 40% more of the Pfizer vaccine, uh, we are still very pleased that 560,000 doses of the vaccine will uh, arrive in the state of California. And what we are told 
very clearly, and I have confidence in this based upon the conversations we've had over the weekend and including conversations that my staff had today, we're gonna see a stable of the Pfizer vaccine come uh, on a more consistent basis. We don't know the exact number yet, and when we do, we'll let you know right away, but we now have confidence in that cadence and so for our planning purposes, that will allow us a little bit more constancy, a little bit more ability uh, to uh, phase in and distribute these vaccines uh, on a protocol uh, that was anticipated based upon the plans of our guidelines work group and our community advisory group. I'll talk about them in just a moment. But briefly, I want to just update you the first week we did vaccinate or at least administer the first dose of the vaccine to 70,258 individuals. 70,258 doses of the vaccine were administered last week. We'll keep updating you. These numbers lag just a day or two. We want to make sure we get them, uh, uh, make sure they're accurate. So all those doses came in, not all the doses uh, were administered. And that's why, again, um, we uh, are um, I think, again, why we're being, I think, generous to the nature of this unprecedented distribution uh, all across this country and respectful uh, of how hard everybody across the spectrum, federal, state, and local, are working to do justice uh, to really meet this moment head on. 